Hey guys, it's Lizzie. I hope you are all doing well. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm gonna go ahead and warn you, if you hear some background noise, my dog is keeping me company and he's decided that he has to play with his toys right at this moment. Regardless, I am really excited for today's video because I'm going to be sharing with you some ideas for vegan backpacking lunches. This is the second in this little series that I'm doing. I already posted a vegan backpacking breakfast video, so I will link that for you guys to check out. And I do have some other videos on my channel talking about vegan backpacking foods and things kind of along those lines, which I'll link as well. But today we're talking all about vegan backpacking lunches and kind of diving into that a little more, giving you some ideas on foods to bring on your next backpacking adventure. So kind of like my first video on this topic, I do want to emphasize that I personally think it's really important that when you're going on backpacking or hiking adventures, you bring along foods that you find really tasty and that are also nutritious. Because if you bring a lot of foods that are nutritious and gonna fuel your body but they don't taste good or you don't personally like them, it's gonna be really hard for you to eat as much as you have to because you're burning so many calories that you need to replenish and it's just gonna make it a much more painful process than it has to be. So I think you should really do some experimentation before your trip if you have the time. Just try out a couple different recipes and a bunch of different foods and find what works for you. Now my personal philosophy for vegan backpacking lunches when I am on a trip is that I want something quick that's gonna fill me up and give me sustained energy to finish out the second half of my day. So sometimes people will stop for lunch and they'll pull out their full cooking system, they'll do a hot meal, something like that, and that is totally an option. Sometimes I do that depending on how much mileage I have planned for the day. But a lot of times I just prefer to either do a cold soaked meal where I fill it with water in the morning and then just let it soften up as I hike so that it's ready to eat by the time I'm stopping for lunch. Or I'll do something kind of pre-made that I don't have to think about too much because I don't want to go through the whole process of taking out like my stove and my gas and then having to clean up afterwards. I just find that it takes up a little too much time. So I'd rather do something kind of on the go and then have a nice hot meal at the end of the day once I'm at my final spot. Now I have kind of talked about this in another video where I talk about some of my top vegan backpacking foods. Um, but a really good suggestion that I have for lunches is to incorporate tortillas. I really like tortillas because they're basically a way to make your lunch portable with zero cleanup. So there was actually one backpacking trip that I went on where I forgot my spork and I had no eating utensils, but thankfully I had a whole pack of flour tortillas. So I pretty much just use that as a makeshift like scoop or <laughs> spoon. And it actually kind of worked out because it gave me some extra calories. It worked, it did the job just fine. Um, and then there was also no cleanup, which was really nice. So a lot of times if I'm super on the go and I don't want to stop and pull out food, I will just put together a tortilla with like peanut butter, maybe I'll throw some granola in there or something like that, um, and I'll eat one or two of those, and then I'll kind of supplement with some snacks. So I might have like trail mix, roasted edamame, I might have a vegan beef jerky, or other just snack type foods. I'll just want to make sure that I am eating a lot if I'm not having a proper meal because I still need to be replenishing those calories getting in a good ratio of carbs, protein, and fat. Um, but sometimes that's fun to just have a little variety of things, maybe some dried fruit, um, really whatever you're craving at the moment. And usually those foods are very portable, so you can kind of eat as you hike, or if you do stop, you don't have to stop for very long. One of my favorite foods when I am backpacking for lunch is dehydrated beans. Um, one, they're super versatile. You can really change up the seasonings and use them in a bunch of different ways. Two, they are very nutritious, so they have protein and carbs, which is gonna give you sustained energy for the second half of your day. Um, and three, I find that they are pretty enjoyable to eat even when they're cold soaked. There are certain foods like soups or pastas that I just prefer to eat hot because I find if I cold soak them, it's just kind of weird and it doesn't really, um, it's not as good to me. So beans I do find are pretty good cold soaked. So those are a great option to kind of act as your base for lunch. 
Another food that is really easy to cold soak is dehydrated mashed potatoes. Again, they are super versatile, so one thing I like to do is I will mix those, maybe even with some beans, I'll do kind of a combination of both. And then I'll add in dehydrated mixed vegetables, um, kind of like the packs that you can find in the freezer aisle, I'll just dehydrate them at home. And then I'll add in a packet of olive oil and some salt and pepper, maybe some other seasonings if I'm feeling kind of fancy. And it's basically like a deconstructed vegan shepherd's pie. So that is really good. And again, mashed potatoes are just super versatile, so they're a really great way to bulk up your lunch um, without adding like too much weight. And they are very neutral, so you can just add a bunch of different seasonings and use them however you like. Finally, another great option for vegan backpacking lunches is to just bring pre-packaged or pre-prepared foods. Um, one of my favorites is the like Indian Tasty Bites meals that you can find in the grocery store. They're basically like a pack. I think there's two servings in one, um, but they have a bunch of different flavors and they usually have a base of like potatoes or lentils or beans of some kind. Just make sure you check the ingredients and make sure they are truly vegan because sometimes they'll have milk in them depending on what it is. Um, but I'll just grab one of those and then I might grab a package of pre-prepared rice and I can basically just pour one into the other, mix it up, eat it up real quick, and I have very easy cleanup. It's usually very filling and very delicious. So I really like doing that as a quick backpacking lunch option as well. So just to recap, as far as vegan backpacking lunches, I would say one option is to do kind of a smorgasbord of snack items, whether it be like tortillas and nut butter, trail mix, dried fruit, beef jerky, vegan beef jerky, of course, and all those kinds of things, and just eat a bunch of snacks on the go. Um, just be aware of the calories that you are taking in and make sure that you have kind of a balanced ratio of the protein, fat, and carbs so that you're not, you know, loading up on sugar and then having a crash later in the day. Another option is to cold soak something like um, beans or mashed potatoes to serve as your base and then you can throw in like dehydrated salsa, dehydrated vegetables, packets of olive oil and other seasonings to spruce it up and make sure that you have a really filling and delicious lunch on the go. And then a third option is to bring pre-prepared foods like those Indian meals or something along those lines where you don't have to cook them at all. You just rip them open, mix it in with some rice that is also pre-prepared um, and then you have super easy cleanup and usually a very very tasty and filling meal. I hope that you guys found this helpful and utilize some of my tips for your next backpacking adventure. Definitely subscribe to stay updated because I do plan on doing a dinner and a dessert version and possibly a snack version of this video as well. So definitely let me know in the comments if you'd like to see those videos next. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe wherever you may be. Happy October, it is officially fall and I could not be more excited and I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video.